Well, first, it's a pleasure to say hello to you. Finally, a long time ago. In my family and I will lose my dad because my dad passed away in May 16, 2020. He lost by all the problems about COVID and it was terrible, terrible for it, for, for my family because he was here in home. Uh, I was cared for him and I was cared for my mom and I was cared for my my little brother and my sister and she was my, my sister was cooking she was cooking I was helping my mom and well it was crazy this whole this house was so crazy and well uh, it was so sad for me uh, you know me a team I'm so happy all the time I'm smiling all the time and I don't have anything for be sad but after my dad died, I was feeling terrible and I was in depressed. I was depressed, hard depressed. I started to f using pills for depressed and um, well, take me a lot of time for recover, a lot of time. And uh, I can explain, well, uh, it's a hard situation for everybody. I understand that. I lost my job, my my job, like environmental consulting, because I know that this is my real job. And well, I we buy all the medical equipment for for my dad, and now we lend it. We lend the the equipment for other people, for other person that they need. They need um, this equipment for 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 the family, for other guys, for they are they are sick, you know. I have in my my mind that that memories and it's a little bit hard. Um, one of my my good news is I will be in a TV show in Merida, Yucatan. It's um, it's I don't know if, if I can talk or not, but I have a good news for for that show. It's a drag yeah. show. Oh great! And well, I'm happy. I'm in love I'm with my family. I'm in the city where I growing up. It's Cuernavaca. And I have a lot of work here. I'm starting my own bar, my own cafe, my own barbecue and everything. And I'm so happy and excited because what's my dream, no? And yeah, I have a lot of things to do. And no, I will be the sexy guy on the show. I, well, I will try to be the sexy guy in the show. <laughs> there will be two guys, two sexy guys in the show, me, and other guy who lives in Merida, who is who born in Merida. You know, Mexicans love the local people, no? <laughs> Absolutely, we have to feature, that's what we're here for. So mm -hmm. uh, are you in a relationship? Are you single? Can you tell us anything you want us to know? I'm not, I'm, 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 uh, I'm not single. I have a guy in my life and I'm so excited. I'm, it's, it's, it's a little bit weird because I met him six, five years ago. We started a relationship just four months and then we broke out and he started to be my friend on the distance. And right now we have two months and we are so excited and so happy. I think, it's, I, th I think it's much better than the first, the first relationship now. That's great. Great. So tell us now you're retired from the porn industry. Would you talk to us about that? Tell us how it was, what you learned about yourself, but you're retired and how was that uh, an experience in your life? Yeah, I'm retired. Um, well, you never know. Maybe I will be back to the porn industry, but you never know. No. And I'm still junk. <laughs> yes, you are. Do you miss uh, it? The porn industry? Yes. No, no, I don't. No, no, no. It's nice to be a, a, a porn, but I don't miss. Uh, it's a lot of, you know, it's something like artificial work or something like. Uh, I'm not that guy in the in the in the television. No. <laughs> Did you learn anything yeah. about yourself? For sure, for sure. When you do porn, when you're doing porn, porn, uh, sometimes you. I was feeling like, oh my God, I feel like nobody wants to be with me because I'm porn star. Okay, maybe a lot of guys want to be with me just for that. But I think nobody wants to be with me just for my feelings or, you know. Right. And sometimes I was feeling weird. I was feeling like strange, like I'm a good person. I'm a good boy. Why this guy don't want to be my boyfriend just because I do porn no? or I did porn. Um, 
and I was feeling like, I don't understand why he don't want, no, he knows my work is just a work. I don't do movies every weekend, no, <laughs> maybe two, three times in, in four, five times in the year, no, it's no every weekend. But the guys in Mexico, I think they are not ready for, uh, op- no, it's not an open relationship because you're honest with the guy, but sometimes they don't want. I learned that I have a lot of family, uh, a lot of guys who really love my job in the porn industry. They love my job and sometimes they, they feel close to me. And sometimes when I'm in the cinema or in the, some concert, uh, the guy, pe- the gay people know me and they say, oh my God, I know you, you're Derek, take picture with me. And I feel weird <laughs> because my God, I'm, I'm not a superstar, I'm not famous and this guy know me, no? Right. But sometimes, sometimes uh, I'm trying to help that guys because the, the guys only want to do porn. They, they, they ask me, okay, I want to be porn. I want, I want to do porn. Can you help me or some advice for that? And I said, okay, you need to study. <laughs> study for, for university or something like that. Oh, but for me, porn was a hobby. It was a challenge, was a hobby for life. But some people do porn for, for live. And it's amazing, you know? Right. For, yeah. for me, it was a challenge. Overall, was it a positive experience? If you had it to do over again, would you still do it and learn? Yeah, for sure. It was a good experience in life. What? Right was amazing yeah all right anything about your the studio men.com did you have anything you want to say about that i think men.com is the best the best company in the world <laughs> right yeah uh, producers cameraman the guy who the ca- with the camera is amazing it's a lesbian she's a lesbian sorry and she's amazing well we have a lot of guys in the camera but who was working with me is a, is a, is a lesbian and she's amazing my god <laughs> Uh, the, the, the actors, they are so kind, so gentlemen, William Seed, uh, well, Alex Mencam, Mencam, I think so, and others that I don't remember the names. Uh, they are so, so, they are cute in person, but they are more cute inside. And, well, what's amazing. And they pay the day that they say. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah. do you, is they it pay easy good. to... Right. Good. Is it easy to maintain friends after you're out of porn? Are they still in touch with you and you're still in touch with them? Or is it only as a business uh, friendship? No, I have a good friends in the porn industry. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Even if I don't work with that guys, you know, I met may- maybe in person, in parties or in social media, and they are they are a good friends. Alan Keane, uh, Topper DiMaggio, uh, Brent Everett, uh, Brent Corrigan. Yeah. And you know, a lot of those uh, guys have been here in Vallarta. They have filmed here, you know, with Lucas. So a lot of those guys were here. Yeah, I um, think. Yes. So uh, tell us about what are some of the best things that you remember about Vallarta? I know you love visiting here, vacationing here. Tell us what are your favorite things to do here in Puerto Vallarta? Well, you know, it's a lot of things, but one of my favorite things to do in Vallarta is... Uh, of course, the beach, yes. <laughs> Playa Los Muertos. Uh, but you know something? It's it's now when I'm in Vallarta, I don't feel in vacations. I feel in home, you know, because I'm. You know Vallarta. You live there. When I'm walking in Vallarta, I feel like oh my god! I remember when I was living here, when I was working here. I have a lot of friends. When I'm walking, a lot of friends say, "Oh, hello there, I go. welcome to Vallarta," no, and I feel in home. Uh, other place that I love to visit in Vallarta is Hotel Mercurio because it's, the owner is one of my best friends in, li- in life. I met him when I was in 16 years and yeah. he's my mom, Paul Chris. I love Paul Chris. He's part, very important part in my life. He's like my mom. I call him my, my mom, madre, mi madre. And he called me hija, <laughs> daughter. <no? laughs> Paul is a great guy. Yeah, and uh, you've done a lot with him and he's great. Um, yeah. do you, La Noche Bar, I love La Noche Bar as well. You miss Vallarta? When do you think you might come back for a visit? I think in July, in July, because you know, in May I will be very busy uh, recording the show. Uh, in in Merida, I will be maybe ten days there, and or maybe in June, 
in June. Great. Now, I, I went to back to Vallarta with a perfect body. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Do um, I know at one time you had an interest in maybe some music and singing. Is that still in any part of your life or tell us about that? Yeah, uh, well, it will be always part of my life, but, you know, it's very expensive to record media, uh, music and producer, you know, it's very, very expensive. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, in this show, I don't know if the, pro the producer are thinking in, in music for the show or something like that. If they, the, if they want to me for sync, I will sing in that show. I don't know. Right, great. I hope so, but I don't know. Now, some, where were some of the favorite places you traveled? I'm sure you traveled around. What, what mm -hmm. were some of the wonderful places that you enjoyed visiting? My favorite places in Mexico. Well, you know, it's a lot of beautiful places in Mexico. <laughs> I think I don't have favorites, but one of my favorite places are uh, Vallarta, uh, Cipolite in Oaxaca. It's a beautiful place. I love Cipolite. Yes. Every, every winter I need to be there, so maybe three or four days. Uh, I love Chiapas. I love uh, Oaxaca, 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 Oaxaca City. Right. Downtown Oaxaca, it's beautiful and amazing. The food is delicious. And of course, Cuernavaca, my place. <laughs> Platforms and how do people stay in touch with you? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'm using more Instagram because Facebook is more for my close, close friends, for my family. And, yeah. and Instagram is for every everybody. I post pictures almost nude, almost naked, <laughs> and, but I love TikTok right now. Um, do you have a Just for Fans or OnlyFans account? What do you think about those platforms? <laughs> no, I don't have. I don't use OnlyFans. Is, no, because you know something? I'm, I'm living different. I'm, now I'm enjoying. I, I'm a, I'm, right now I have belly. I, I'm fat. I consider it fat. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, my, I don't want to record my, when I'm having sex in with, with my guys or with my right. love, uh, because it's my, it's like a little bit private. Derek yeah, Allen is a, is a character. Yeah. And, right. but it's okay. If you have some talents for that, if you want to record and you want to make money, it's wow. It's amazing. But I don't know. I want to, I want to change a little bit. Sure. Nothing Everybody, wrong with being private. Absolutely. Uh, Everybody knows me. <laughs> I don't want nothing for a show, right? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being private. Not at all. Oh, it's amazing magazine. Of course, I love that magazine. Um, we appreciate very much getting an update on what's happening in your life. And we wish you the best. And we will be seeing you very soon, okay? Okay. Thank okay, bye. So Kisses and... Just visit Vallarta, it's an amazing place. <laughs>